What's up everyone? Welcome to Max Streamer Fishing and Outdoors. Today I'm going to keep this a short video hopefully. We're going to talk to you about kayak crates. Now if anything kayaking or canoeing, you want to keep it simple. The KISS method. Um, the simpler you can keep things, the better off you're going to be, the less things you got in your way. We're going to talk about kayak crates. I've got two kayaks, I've got two kayak crates. I've got them set up the same. This is the one I use in my ATAC 140. Except this isn't supposed to be in there. I have to get him out. I don't know how in the world he got in there. Meanwhile, let's get him out of there. Okay, guys. I don't know how he got in there. That was kind of crazy. But anyway, let's talk about the kayak crates to get back to that. Keep it simple. That's the best way you're going to catch fish is keep everything simple. If you got it all complicated, all kinds of things on your kayak, everything hard to do, you're going to be messing with gear more than you're going to be fishing. So let's show this. Okay guys, here's my kayak crate. Um, I'll put where you can get these in the description. Uh, you get the crate anywhere too, but you can also buy these online or in stores. Um, I'm not going to bore you with drilling holes, but I've only got two holes drilled in each side. I've got three zip ties here. I've got three zip ties here. Um, only two holes I drilled were in the crate down here and over here. This one actually goes to a hole already in the crate. And these three already go around these. So it's pretty easy to do. The stakeout holder, I've got done with one, two, three, four, five zip ties. This is one inch PVC because my stakeout pole is three quarter inch, so it fits in there tight. I used to put my stakeout pole in one of these when I carried three rods, but it rattles, it flops around too much. But this holds a lot better. It doesn't move, it fits in there tight. Um, and it's angled so it makes it easier getting the uh, stakeout pole in there. Okay guys, I got it sitting in there. I always put the stakeout holder to the back because I can reach it easier when I'm trying to stick it in from the back. Um, this goes like this over the rod holders. Hook them in the hooks there. Put that one like that. Hook it like that. Now, if I'm using some heavier gear than normal, a lot of times I'll put two bungees. Um, but that's the way it holds in there. I'll talk to you about this piece of styrofoam in a minute. Okay, it's my stakeout pole. Just put it in there. Stays like that right there. Easy to get in and out. It doesn't wobble much. And that's basically it. Okay guys, hope you can see everything good over there at the kayak. It's just simple. I've got two rod holders. I'll post a link to where I got them. They're zip tied with six zip ties each. Three on top, three on bottom. Only had to drill two holes. The other ones I use existing holes. Openings in the, in the crate. Um, the stakeout holder. Where's it at? Right there. It's got five zip ties holding it. It's an inch PVC pipe. Angled at the top. Makes it easier to get the stakeout pole in from the front when I'm putting it towards the back. Um, just keep it simple. If you didn't notice at the kayak, I do have a piece of styrofoam in the bottom. This is about a two inch piece of styrofoam. It fits in there almost perfect like that. Now what I do with that is when I'm in salt water, salt water splashes over the sides of the boat sometimes. And if you're throwing a little tackle box in there upside down, you know, water's going to get in there so i'd like to keep my gear just a little bit off the bottom and that's how i do it with that piece of styrofoam now that being said a lot of times i don't take tackle boxes with me especially when i'm launching in the surf and going beyond the breakers what i do then is i use a plastic jar something like pretzels came in um, this is what came in this one it's got a white top if you flip coming back in through the breakers or going out through the breakers this is going to float it's got enough air in it there's not enough gear in it to sink it so it's going to float easy to find so i just throw that in a crate it fits perfect i mean there's a lot of room for other stuff if you didn't need more tackle all right guys hope you enjoyed that video hit the like button also watch my video on my atac 140 and do me a favor guys as always hit the subscribe button remember keep it simple canoeing or kayaking and i'll see everybody next time thanks for watching Woo!